All right, welcome back to the shop. It's uh, just after Christmas. We're getting back into the 4570 Dangerous Game Gun here. And for a channel with such a small reach, we have had just an incredible outpouring of interest in this project. So for the both of you that have liked and commented and subscribed, here's what we're up to. I've almost, but not quite, got the monoblock fit to what's left of our action. 5,000s here, 10,000s here. Uh, in my world, that's something that you can drive a truck through, but, what's, but the problem that we're running into is we've got this big flat space up here where it's not really giving me a whole lot of data on what has to go away. So I took this special opportunity and we're drilling out for the barrels and we're gonna tap them too. You can see that we're more or less done with the right side barrel and then we're gonna move on to the left. Generally, when this is done, so I'm told, uh, you only tap about halfway through for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, this is kind of a pain. Uh, and two, you want an awful lot of solder in there. You can't get the torque on it that you could with a single barrel bolt action. We're gonna do this a little bit differently. I'm gonna tap all the way through and we're gonna undersize the barrel just a little bit, five or 10 thousandths maybe, to make sure that we can get a lot of solder penetration in there because and when a barrel comes off when, you, when you're staring down a water buffalo, that is embarrassing for everyone involved, the buffalo included. So for right now, we are tapping this by hand. If I was a more confident or competent machinist, perhaps we could power tap this. Uh, or if I had the right tools, you know, an actual tap handle with two handles on there. But I can't be bothered to go and find one. So here we are stuck doing this by hand. Uh, I guess about the only other thing that you could do to make this easier on yourself is go and find somebody to do it for you, but unfortunately they're still on Christmas break. Some tap water, pluck for tapping. I've got really low self-esteem, guys, so if you could do me a huge favor, tell your friends about the channel. Get as many people as we can following along on this. I, I love to hear your comments. A little bit of show of support always goes a long way. The best part is it doesn't cost you anything and more people get to watch me go through my trials and tribulations with this. So I placed this hole precisely where I wanted it to be. That drill bit was within the thousands. The precision is great, but it's nothing without accuracy. Love to have a sub quarter MOA gun. We all would. That doesn't mean much if your dime size shot group is on your buddy's target. So I hope this isn't in the right spot. All right, that looks almost straight, and I have enough teeth left to probably make the second barrel cut. Mm -hmm. 